Hallelujah. Wave your hand to Jesus and appreciate him. Hallelujah. Give him the glory and honor. Give him the adoration. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be glorified. No one is like unto you, Jesus. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love. Thank you for the first day, the second day, and this third day of this month week of spiritual emphasis. Thank you for your word you sent to us yesterday. Thank you, Lord, for diverse encounters by your Thank you, Lord, for helping us understand what it takes to build our faith. We give you all the glory for answer prayers. We pray that you answer us. Blessed be your holiness. Blessed be your holiness. Blessed be your holiness. Blessed be your holiness. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Blessed be your holiness. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. We worship your holiness. We worship your holiness. Oh, we thank you. Blessed be your holiness. Wave your hand to Jesus and say to him, Thank you again. We give you all, all glory. We worship you, our God. You are worthy to be. We give you all. 
worship him in the spirit. We worship you, Jesus. As it to visit you in this third service, third day, in this third day of this month, we call spiritual emphasis. On the third day, he shall raise us up. The God of the third day visit us today. Oh, Oh, Makita la bali shokotolobo. Elia kaba baba bali ababa la bala basha la ba. Elia kateki atala bali ababa bala bala bandolobo. Thank you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Saint Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Visit us again today by your word. Tembele leo tena kwa neno lako. And by the communion table. Na kwa meza ya ushirika. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Welcome to the year 2021, your year of supernatural turnaround. Karibu 2021 mwaka wako migeuko ya kiu. Please have your seat in his presence. Welcome to this concluding day. Of this month week of spiritual emphasis. Karibu katika siku hii ya mwisho wa wiki yetu ya msitizo wa kiroko mwezi huu. We thank God for the first day. Tunamshukuru Mungu kwa siku ya kwanza. And the second day and this third day. Ya pili na siku ya tatu. And God will do something spectacular in your life today. Mungu atafanya kitu maalum katika maisha yako leo. Something marvelous and tonsi, something glorious. Your faith will never remain the same way you are today. Imani yako lazima In the name of Jesus Christ. Katika jina la Yesu. Faith secures fulfillment of prophecy. Imani wakikisha utimilifo na bi. Is our prophetic focus for the month. Ndiyo tamko leto la kina bi la muenzi. And we have been looking at understanding. Na tumeko tu kiangalia kuelewa. The demands of building your faith. Mahitaji ya kujenga imani yako. This is part two C. Hii ni sehemu ya pili C. Understanding. Kuelewa. The demand. Mahitaji. Of Building your faith. Ya kuijenga imani yako. First of all, let's be reminded. Awale yote tujikumbushe. That as far as the kingdom of God is concerned. Kwa mba kuhusiana na yote juu ya ufawame wa mungu. Faith is a key to all things. Imani ndiyo funguwe ya kila kitu. All things. Vitu vyote. Mark 9 verse 27. Marko 9 verse 23. If you can believe. Kama ukiamini. All things are possible. Yote ya wezekana. To him that believe it. Kwa keye aaminie. That is why when a man lacks faith. Ndomana mtu akikosa hii imani. He will lack testimonies. Atakosa shuhuda. Because testimonies happen according to your faith. Kwa sababu shuhuda hutokea kulingana na imani yako. Matthew chapter 9 verse 29. Matayo 9:29. According to your faith. Kwa kadiri ya imani yako. Be it unto you. Iwe kwako. Psalm 27 verse 13. Zaburi 27:13. Psalm 27 verse they say I have fainted. Unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Naamini ya kuwa nitaona wema wa Bwana katika nchi ya walio hai. If you want to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Ukitaka kuona wema wa Bwana katika nchi ya walio hai. Faith is a must. Imani ni lazima. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
you want to experience turn around order of testimonies faith is a must that's why if you are waiting for God wait in faith engage your faith somebody shout hallelujah faith is all that is needed Imani ndicho to clear off every issue of concern in your life. Kila changamoto kwenye maisha no ya. matter how long that issue have lingered. Kwa muda gani. If you can engage your faith, Kama ukitumia imani yako, that prophecy will be fulfilled. Utatimia. Blessed is she that believed and there shall be a performance. Ye sadiki, mana if God must perform what you have said in your life, Kama mungu atende, sema kwenye maisha ya. your faith must be the subject of faith is an important subject in our journey in this kingdom. But what is faith? It's important to be reminded of faith is a display display of confidence in God in his word until the desired result is obtained. His display is something that must be released. You must display that confidence in God and confidence in his word until the result is released to you. Hebrew chapter 10 verse 35 or 36 he said, 35 he said, cast not away therefore your confidence which have a great recompense of reward. Your confidence in God and his word have a very great recompense of the world. Faith will always deliver the result. If you will not cast your confidence in God and his prophetic word, the result will be obtained. Hallelujah. In Romans chapter 4, verse 19 to 20, that is what Abraham did. He had confidence in God. Not minding the circumstances of his life. Somebody shout hallelujah. What is faith? Faith is a spiritual force that commits God to confirm his word in your life. It's a force that must be released. And when God sees your faith, his word he will perform his word in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One thing you must know about faith is that faith has a purchasing power. Faith is like, is like a spiritual currency that can purchase anything for you. Faith is a price to pay for that healing you desire. Faith is a price to pay for that turn around testimonies you desire. It can purchase anything for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And not hearing a bigger hallelujah. hallelujah. What am I saying? Everything in this kingdom is obtainable by faith. And that is why faith must be de developed. That's why you must take responsibility to build it. The reason you must develop your faith is this. For you to match the challenges at hand. You have to develop your faith. If your faith must match the challenges of life. When the challenges are greater than your faith, your faith might not succeed in bringing it down. You must develop your faith. We said yesterday that every believer have a measure of faith. At salvation, God have dealt with everyone a measure of faith. But that faith need to be developed. It needs to be developed. That faith need to grow. Faith is a living virtue with unlimited power for growth. 
mishi ambayo ukuaji wake hauna kikomo. He does not go and stalk on the way he keeps growing. Haikui na kuishia njiani na endelea kukua. There is kukua. no end to the growing of faith. Hakuna mwisho wa kukua kwa imani. If there won't be end in doing what it takes to grow it. Na haitakuwa na mwisho wa kutenda kwa. When you stop feeding on the word that's when your faith stop growing. Ukiacha kuilisha neno imani itaacha kukua. When you stop prayer that's when your faith stop growing. Ukiacha kuomba imani inaacha kukua. Because we have said kwa sababu tumesema faith grows primarily by the word of God. Kwa sababu tumesema imani kimsingi inakuwa kwa neno la Mungu. Romans chapter 10 verse 17. Romi 10:17. Imani huja by hearing kwa kusikia and understanding the word of God. Na kulielewa neno la Mungu. And faith grows also by the same word. Na imani inakuwa hivyo hivyo. Couple with prayer. Ikiambatana na maombi. And we must Take that responsibility. Na lazima tuwajibike. No one will be studying for you to grow your own faith but his own faith. Hakuna ambaye hatajifunza kwa niaba yako kuikuza imani yako. Your prayer affects you before you affect any other person. Maombi yako yanakugusa wewe kwanza kabla hajamgusa mwingine. Faith is a, a, a spiritual asset. Imani ni hazina ya kiroho. That demands spiritual responsibility. Ambayo inahitaji uwajibikaji wa kiroho. Spiritual personal responsibility. Uwajibikaji binafsi wa kiroho. Take responsibility to grow your faith. Wajibika katika kujenga imani yako because there are challenges ahead kwa sababu mbele kuna changamoto Christianity didn't promise us that there won't be challenges Ukristo haujatoaidi kwamba hakutakuwa na changamoto God didn't promise us there won't be challenges Mungu hajatoaidi kwamba hatutakutana na changamoto We can only overcome by faith Tunaweza tu kuzishinda hizo changamoto kwa imani Heaven is a home for overcomers Mbingu ni mahali pa washindi Because on our way to heaven there are challenges that there are hurdles Kwa sababu there are oceans that must be crossed Kuna kuelekea kwetu mbinguni kuna vitu vya kuvuka There are fire that must be quenched Kuna vitu vya kuvuka if we must reach our promised land lazima tuvuke ili tuweze kufika katika nchi yetu ya the promised land tunapoelekea katika nchi yetu ya had of the israelite they encountered a lot of things walipokuwa na israeli wanaelekea kwenye nchi ya had walikutana na vitu vingi hallelujah hallelujah that's why you have to build your faith ndio maana lazima uijenge imani yako if you don't want to drop on the way kama hutaki kuishia njiani because challenges are there kwa sababu changamoto zipo is coming day after day kila siku zipo Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But if you faint in the days of challenges. Lakini kama ukizimia siku ya taabu. In the days of adversity. Katika siku za uovu. Because your faith is small. Ni kwa sababu tu imani yako ni ndogo. That Jesus is in your life does not stop challenges from coming. Yesu kuwepo katika maisha yako haikomeshi changamoto. Jesus was in the boat with them and there was there was a storm. Yesu alikuwa pamoja nao kwenye mashua lakini bado kulikuwa na dhoruba. He was inside it. Alikuwa ndani. And there was storm. Na bado kulikuwa na dhoruba. And he was sleeping. Naye alikuwa amelala. They woke him up and said, "Master, care us not that we perish." Wale wanafunzi wakamuumsha akisema, "Haujali kwamba tunaangamia." He came and rebuke and he Akasimama akakemea upepo. He called them all you of little faith. Akawaambia, "Enyi wenye imani haba." What am I saying people of God? Ninawaambia nini watu wa Mungu? Take responsibility today. Wajibika leo to feed on the food of faith which is the word of God chakula cha imani ambalo ni neno la Mungu somebody shout hallelujah baza hallelujah and not here in a bigger hallelujah sikia hallelujah that's why when we are telling you to build your faith ndio maana tunapokuambia kwamba ujenge imani yako is for your own good ni kwa faida yako mwenyewe you don't wait for challenges to come before you do that you build it in order to overcome them haungoji changamoto zije ndio ujenge imani yako unajenga kwanza kabla ya changamoto and when the challenges of life will come they na pale changamoto does not give notice za maisha huwa zikija haziji na taarifa they does not give notice zinakuja ghafla tu when the tests and temptations will come they don't give notice majaribu na changamoto zikija hazitoi taarifa but when you are prepared when your faith is built lakini imani yako ikijengwa ukiwa umejiandaa you will definitely overcome them utazishinda hizo changamoto na majaribu hallelujah hallelujah and i pray for somebody here today najua kuna mtu hapa leo every challenge you are facing this hour kila changamoto unayopitia saa hii you shall overcome in the name of jesus utaishinda katika jina la yesu no challenge will make your faith fail anymore hakuna changamoto tutafanya imani yako ishindwe and not hearing a louder amen sikie amen and not hearing a louder Baza amen baza amen people of god is Watu a person of faith is a personal adventure Imani ni not, jambo binafsi not a collective one sio jambo la jumuiya that requires your personal responsibility Abo, to build inahitaji jiwajibike mwenyewe kibinafsi kujenga imani and we have said a lot of things yesterday tumesema mambo mengi siku ya jana the question again today how do i build my faith swali tena leo ninajengaje imani yangu how to build your faith ninawezaje kujenga imani yangu remember we have said primarily the word of god kumbuka tumesema kimsingi neno la mungu and prayer 
na maombi. I'm meditating on that word. Na kulitafakali roneno. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we said yesterday to build your faith. Najana tulisema kujenga mani yako. Learn how to pray in the Holy Ghost. Jifunze kuomba katika lugha ya Roma takatifu. Keep the Keep walking in the fear of the Lord. Endelea kutembea katika kumcha Bwana. Remain in love with God. Bake katika kumpenda Mungu. Continue to engage the blood of Jesus. Endelea kuitumia damu ya Yesu. And we say continue to fellowship with the saints. Na tulisema endelea kuambatana au kushirikiana na watakatifu. These are the things we shared yesterday on how to build your faith. Haya ndio mambo ambayo tulioshirikisha jana namna ya kujenga imani yako. We continue from there today. How do I build my faith? Endelea tena leo. Ninawezaje kujenga imani yangu? Number 1. Build your faith. Kujenga imani yako. You must keep your hope alive. Lazima tumaini lako uendelee kulifanya liwe hai. Keep your hope alive. Endelea kulifanya tumaini lako liwe hai. There is no faith. Kwa sababu hakuna imani no kama hamna tumaini. Hope is the foundation of faith. Tumaini ndio msingi wa imani. For, hope goes and faith follows. Tumaini linatangulia ndio imani inafuata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The, it is hope. Ni tumaini that give back to faith. Ndio ambalo linazaa imani. And that's why Hebrew define faith simply. The Bible defines faith in Hebrew chapter 1. Biblia inaelezea imani katika Hebrew chapter 11 verse 1. Wa Hebrew 11:1. It says faith now faith is. Basi imani ni the substance of things hoped for. Ni kuwa na hakika ya mambo yatarajiwayo. Things expected. Kwa lugha nyingine mambo unayoyatarajia. And the evidence of things not seen. Na bayana ya mambo yasioonekana. In Bishop Abiyo's book, Character the life style of Abiyo, faith, he called hope the womb of faith. Anasema, tumaini ni tumbo la kuzaa imani. Ni tumbo linalozaa imani. Hala kubeba imani. It's a womb that carries faith. Ni tumbo linalobeba imani. You know how imani. important a womb is in in the body of a woman. Unajua tumbo la uzazi lina umuhimu kiasi gani kwenye tumbo la mama? Kwenye kwenye mwili wa mama. Tumbo la uzazi linatakiwa kutunga mimba, kulea ile. Toto. It's not something you can do without. Sio kitu ambacho unaweza kaishi bila hicho. That is how what hope is to a faith. Hivyo ndivyo tumaini lilivyo kwa imani. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hasa hallelujah. What activate it is the hope kile ambacho kinachochea imani ni lile tumaini unalokuwa nalo. That's why it is not possible. Ndio maana haiwezekani. For hope to be absent and faith to be present. Tumaini lisiwepo na imani iwepo. Without hope. Pasipo tumaini, faith is important. Imani hai hai haizai au haipo. Kept Abraham going. Kile kilichomfanya Ibrahimu aende mbele. Romans 4 verse 16. Waromia 16. He said who against hope? Believing hope Verse 17 or the other verse. Romans 4 verse 17. Romans 4 verse 17. Verse 18 now verse 18. Who against hope? Na yali amini kwa kutarajia siweza kutarajia. He believe in hope. Ali tarajia. Ali amini yale ya siweza kutarajia. And I have a version of verse 18. Tafsiri hiyo nyingine ya mstari huo. And I have a version. He say against all hope. Abraham in hope believe. Ibrahim katika tumaini aliamini. In hope. Katika tumaini. If hope is not there there is no faith there. Kama tumaini halipo hamna imani. That is how important hope is. Hivyo ndivyo tumaini lilivyo na umuhimu sana. What kept believers going is hope. Kile ambacho kinafanya waamini waendelee kusonga mbele ni tumaini wanalokuwa nao. Even when it looks as if something have delayed. Hata kama kikionekana kitu kimechelewa. When you are hopeful you cannot be discouraged. Ukiwa na matumaini hawezi kuvunjika moyo. What am I saying? Hope. Ninasema nini tumaini? It's a vital force. Ni nguvu muhimu sana. That keep faith alive. Ambayo inafanya imani iwe hai. Until the desired result is obtained. Mpaka lile tamani unalotaka limepatikana. Somebody shout hallelujah. Baza hallelujah. What hope does is this? Tumaini ninachofanya ni iki. Hope is just like expectation. Tumaini ni kama tu matarajio. He said if God didn't do you today he will do you tomorrow. Nasema kama Mungu hajafanya leo atafanya kesho. As hope have moved tomorrow. Tumaini linavohamia kesho. Faith will follow suit. Imani inafuatana na tumaini. But when someone is hopeless. Lakini kama mtu amekosa tumaini. He will give up immediately. Atakata tamaa hapo hapo. 
There are many things you have believed you have prayed for. Kuna mambo mengi ambayo umeyaombea. Which you have not seen physically. Ambayo bado hujayapokea. What keeps you going? Lakini kile kinachokufanya uendelee kusonga mbele ni tumaini. Is hope. Tumaini. You say if God didn't answer today we we'll answer tomorrow. Kama Mungu hajanijibu leo atajibu kesho. You are expectant every day. Kila siku unakuwa na matarajio. That it will be done. Kwamba litatokea. You say on Saturday. Alisema labda Jumamosi. When tomorrow will come it don't you you still postpone. Kama kesho ikija utaamini tena utatumaini lingine tena. The difference between hope and faith is this. Tofauti kati ya tumaini na imani ni hii. Hope lose at the future. Tumaini linatazama mbele. Faith take is in the now. Imani inapokea sasa. But before we before the now. Lakini kabla ya sasa before we arrive now. Kabla tujafika sasa hivi hope have already gone tumaini tayari lilishafika muda that's why if hope is not there ndio maana kama tumaini yalipo faith has no substance imani haipo somebody shout hallelujah haza hallelujah i'm not hearing a bigger hallelujah sikia hallelujah people what am i saying watu wa mungu nasema ni hope is the sustainer of faith tumaini ndio inayobeba imani keep faith going strong inafanya imani iendelee kuimarika it help faith to grow inasaidia imani ikue even when the testimony seems to be delayed hata kama shuhuda zinachelewa what kept job going was hope kile ambacho kinakufanya uendelee mbele ni tumaini. See what Job said in Job chapter 14 verse 7 and 8. Katika Ayubu 14. Job Job chapter 14 verse 7 and 8. 14:7 and 8. Job was still really have not come. Ayubu bado uponyaji ilikuwa hajaupokea. He was tormented and buffeted by the devil. Bado alikuwa na teswa na kupigwa na shetani. He was hopeful. Lakini alikuwa na matumaini. He said there is a hope of a tree. Anasema kwani yako matumaini ya mti. If it be cut down. Ya kuwa ukikatwa. That it must sprout again. Utachipuka tena. And that the tender branch therefore will not cease. Wala machipukizi yake hayatakoma. Say to the root thereof was old in the earth. Ijapokuwa mizizi yake uchakaa uchanga. And the stalk thereof die in the ground. Na shina lake kufa katika udongo. And verse 14 Sara 14 he said anasema if a man die mtu akifa shall he live again ye yeah, atakuwa tena all the days of my appointed time mimi ningegoja siku zote za vita vyangu will i wait ningegoja till my change come hata kufunguliwa kwangu kunifikiria nitakuwa na tumaini mpaka badiliko langu linifikie si tokata tamaa bila kujalisha kinachoendelea and his change came na badiliko lake likamfikia any time someone have given up wakati wote mtu amekata tamaa no matter the kind of prayer haijalishi aina ya maombi anayoomba it will be difficult for the person to be revived itakuwa ngumu sana mtu kubaki when someone is sick and is already hopeless kama mtu anaona hana tumaini it will take a lot of things for the person to survive itahitaji nguvu nyingi huyo mtu when you are hopeful that my healing is coming tomorrow lakini ukiwa na tumaini kama punyaji wangu anakuja kesho There is no how your healing will not come. Hakuna namna ambayo hauwezi kupokea uponyaji. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. People of God am I saying? Watu wa Mungu nasema kitu gani? Most of the time. Wakati mwingi. It my sins that you what you believe didn't come the time you believe you yeah. have you want it. Inaweza kana kile kitu ambacho unaamini hakija kufikia kwa muda ule unaokutaka. You to wait until it comes is hope. Kile ambacho kitakusaidia kuongoja ushuhuda wako mpaka ukufikie ni tumaini. Is a substance of things hope for. Ndio maana imani ni hakika ya mambo wewe unayotarajia. Kama hautarajii au hauna tumaini, you won't believe it. Hauwezi kuamini. Somebody shout hallelujah. Asa hallelujah. And not here in a bigger hallelujah. Sikia hallelujah. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 4 says, Mubiri 9. There is a hope of a tree. 9. Even if it is cut down kwa kuwa liko tumaini kwa yule aliyambatana. He said he said Ecclesiastes chapter 9 I'm quoting where we have read before. But the Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 4 says Mubiri 9:4 na sema For him that is joined to the living. Kwa kuwa there have his hope. Kwa kuwa liko tumaini kwa yule aliyambatana na watu walio hai. Even dog is better than a dead lion. Maana ni afadhali mbwa ali hai kuliko simba aliyekufa. For find when you are alive don't be hopeless in life. Kwa kuwa tu uko hai usikose tumaini la maisha. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. One thing that we have discovered. Moja ya kitu ambacho tumetambua is that with hope. Kwamba kwa tumaini you can cope to every situation. Unaweza ukakabiliana na changamoto yoyote. You can cope to every situation. Unaweza ukaendana na na hali yoyote. Unaweza ukaendana na situation that comes. Haijalishi hali ambayo inakukumba. You will still stand strong with hope. Kukiwa na tumaini utasimama tu imara. Faith can fail. Imani inaweza kushindwa. Yeah, hope doesn't fail. Lakini tumaini alishindwi. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember that Jesus told Peter that 
I pray for you that faith fell at no faith can fail. Kumbuka pe, Yesu alimwambia Petro kama nimekuombea imani yako ishindwe. Imani inaweza kushindwa lakini im, tumaini lako likiwepo you will keep on moving. Utaendelea kusonga mbele. People of God if you want to build your faith. Watu wa Mungu kama unataka kujenga imani yako walk on your hope. Embu tendea kazi tumaini lako. The situation don't be hopeless. Haijalishi hali gani unaipitia usikose tumaini. One thing you must understand about hope. Kitu kimoja cha muhimu kuelewa kuhusiana na tumaini. Hope will never make a shame. Tumahini hali it, 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 it will never put to shame. Aliwezi hmm. kuwaibisha au kuwaibika. Romans chapter 5 verse 5. Warumi 5:5. He said hope make it not a shame. Warumi 5:5. Anasema tumaini make it not a shame. Tumaini hali tahayarishi. Every one of an job would think that job will not come up and recover everything he have lost. Kila moja leo mzunguko Ayubu alizani kwamba Ayubu asingepona wala kurejesha vyote vyote alivyopoteza lakini hakuaibika mwisho wa siku. Paza hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Paza hallelujah. That is why it's so important. Kwa maana ni muhimu sana. The same way the word of God the revelation of the word activate faith the same way it activate hope. Hope is activated by the revelation of the word. Tumaini pia linachochewa na ufunuo wa neno. When you know God and his word. Unapomjua Mungu na neno lake. There is no situation of life that will make you to be hopeless. Hakuna hali ya maisha ambayo inaweza kukuvunjia tumaini lako. When you know that you serve a God of supernatural turnaround. Ukijua kama unamtumikia Mungu amegeuka ya kiungu. A God that does not fail. Mungu ambaye hashindwi kamwe. You never come to a situation where you are hopeless. Haitofikia hali yoyote ambayo utakosa tumaini kabisa. Somebody shout hallelujah. Paza hallelujah. That's why you need the revelation of. Ndio maana unahitaji ufunuo wa neno lake. The of his word. Unahitaji ufunuo wa neno lake. To be hopeful at all times. Ili ujaye tumaini Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And that will help your faith to grow. No matter how you walk and pray. Haijalishi unaomba vipi? Unajifunzaje neno la Mungu? have told you. Unafanya yote tunayokuambia. If you don't walk on your hope, if you don't keep your hope alive. Usipolifanya tumaini lako kuwa hai. The effort you are making might not result to any good. Jitihada zote ambazo tunazifanya hazitaleta kukuletea wewe ukuaji. Somebody shout hallelujah. Azza hallelujah. And I pray. Anaomba you will never experience any hopeless situation in your life. Hali ya your, your hope in God will always be alive in the name of Jesus Christ. Jina la Yesu. And not hearing a louder amen. Siski, amen. Number two. Number two. How to build my faith. Namna kujenga imani yako. To build your faith. Kujenga imani yako. You must keep the joy of the Lord alive. Lazima uifanye furaha ya Bwana iwe hai. The joy of the Lord. Furaha ya Bwana. <laughs> Why is important to keep joy? Iwe hai. A life is because. Kwa nini ni muhimu kuifanya furaha ya Bwana iwe hai ndani yako? It is joy. Kwa sababu ni furaha. It is with joy. Ni kwa sababu ya furaha. Ndio kwa sababu ya furaha tunapata ufunuo. Ni kwa furaha ndio tunapata ufunuo. Na huo ufunuo ndio unajenga imani. Isaiah chapter 12 verse 7. Isaiah 12 verse 7. The Bible says we joy. Nasema kwa furaha. Shall you do water? Tutaweka maji. Out of the well of salvation. Katika visima vya wokovu. We joy. Kwa furaha. Will you even assess the part of life? Utapata hata ile njia ya uzima. In Psalm 16 katika zaburi nao utanyesha njia ya uzima 16:11 katika uwepo wako kuna furaha tele katika uwepo wa Bwana kuna furaha tele ndio maana zaburi 104 be thankful is Unto us from verse 1. From verse 1, he said, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Serve God with gladness. Come before Him. Before His presence with singing. Hallelujah. And verse 4, he said, Enter His gate with thanksgiving. And it shall be proved that if you are not joyful, you can't be thankful. And if you are not thankful, you cannot be praiseful. The foundation of acceptable praise is joy. And that facilitates revelation. It's so important. Why is this joy so important? Because joy does not take cognizance of what is happening or what is not happening. You can be happy because of what you are seeing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is what differentiates happiness and joy. You can be in the pit and still be joyful. 
Unaweza ukawa shimoni bado na furaha. Unaweza kukosa chochote ukawa na furaha. But happiness talks about when you have the things you want you are happy. Shangwe nazungumza pale ambapo ukiwa na vitu unavyotaka vile unakuwa na shangwe. Is a fruit of the spirit. Lakini furaha ni tunda la roho. As recorded in Galatians chapter 5 verse 22. Kama inavyoelezewa katika Galatia 5:22 That should be part and parcel of us. Ni sehemu yetu. Whether things are working or not, whether challenges or not challenges, you must be joyful. You must be joyful. And joy is of is something that emanates from the heart. Na fura ni kitu ambacho kina bubuji kutoka moyoni. And it helps you to live in the vine house. Na ina kusaidi ya kuishi maisha afya kiongo. It helps you to grow. Na imani yako iku. Because you can't be studying scriptures. Without joy and expect to get anything from it. Hawezo kwa na jifunza maandiko pasi pofura na ukategeme ya upateki. That's why, despite everything that's happening, you might lose anything, never lose your joy. Unaweza kapoteza chochote, lakini usipoteze fura ya. You might be disappointed, but don't allow your joy to follow. Unaweza kavunjwa mo, lakini usiruusu fura ya kwa yodo. If you keep your joy intact, kama ukidumi sha fura ya. You will assess the presence of God that makes things happen. Uta upata uwe pomungo mo na fanya mambo ya toke. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. You want to build your faith. Unataka kujenga imani yako. Keep your joy alive. Dumi sha ile furaha ya. Philippians chapter one verse fifteen to eighteen. Wa Philippi moja kumi na tano. Philippians chapter one. Philippi moja kumi na tano. So some indeed preach Christ, even envy and strive, and some of them good way. Wengine wana ubiri ya baraza Kristo kwa sababu ya usuda na fitina. Verse 11. Pusara kumi na moja. Verse 16. Pusara kumi na sita. The one preach Christ of contention, not sincerely, supposing to add affliction to my bounds. Hawa wana ubiri kwa pendo wakijua kuwa ni mewe kwa bili ni itete inji. But the order of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. Bale wengine wana ubiri Kristo kwa fitina. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you say, what then? What not? Lakini alasema iyaduru nini? Everywhere, whether in Lakini kuanjia zote, ikiwa kwa hila, au ikiwa kwa kweli. Christ is preach. Christo na ubiri. And I dare even do rejoice. Na kwa hiyo na furahi. Yeah, I will rejoice. It doesn't matter what is happening. Nam, nam, ni tafurahi. And you see the challenges he he faced in in his ministry journey. Na unaona changa moto hizo kumbana nazo katika uduma yake. And he was full of faith. Lakini yeye alijia iman. Ephesians chapter three verse one to five. Wa Efeso tatu moja tano. Ephesians chapter three verse one to five. Wa Efeso tatu moja tano. He said, "For this cause, I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles, you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given to you. Wow. How that by revelation he made known, what he made known, as I wrote in few words. Thereby that you read them, that you may understand. My knowledge in the mystery of Christ. 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 Which in all that days, I'm leaning the kind of revelation he had. He said, in all that days, we were not made known to the sons of men. But at this night, it is revealed unto his holy apostles. And the Spirit. Why was it revealed to him? Kept his joy in that. You will lack revelation when you are not joyful. And nothing built faith like revelation. Of the word. And nothing built faith like revelation. Of the word. And nothing built faith like revelation. Of the word. And nothing built faith like revelation. Of the word. And nothing built faith like revelation. Of the word. And nothing built faith like revelation. Of the word. And nothing built faith like revelation. Of the word. And nothing built faith like revelation. Of the word. And nothing built faith like revelation. Of the word. And nothing built faith like revelation. Of the word. And nothing built faith like revelation. Of the word. And nothing built faith like revelation. Of the word. And nothing built faith like revelation. Of the word. And nothing built faith like revelation. Of the word. And nothing built faith like revelation. Of the word. And nothing built faith like revelation. Of the word. And nothing built faith like revelation. Of the word. And nothing built faith like revelation. Of the word. And nothing built faith like revelation. Of the word. And nothing built faith like revelation. Of the word. And nothing built faith like revelation. Of the word. You shall have a song. Takuona wimbo. As in the night. Kama vile katuo usiku. When the holy summit is kept. Ishikuwa posi kukuuta katifu. There must be a gladness of heart. Nam takuwa na furaha ya moyo. And verse thirty. Sare wa thalathi. The Lord will cause His glorious voice to be heard. Na yabwa na atawasikizisha watu sauti yake. And you can that what you hear, but you can that. When you hear the voice of God, na wewe sukutiri ya shaka na poskia sauti yamu. The voice of God help in building our faith. Sauti yamu ngi na tu saidi ya kujenga imani zetu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that voice of God is accessible. Na sauti yamu ngi na patikan. With gladness of heart. Unapokuwa na furaha yamu. Somebody shout Hallelujah. As Hallelujah. As I conclude. Na poitimisha. No matter what happens, there are challenges. Understand that. Elewa kunachanga moto katika maisha. This is part 
and parcel of Christianity. Hii ni sehemu ya ule Ukristo wetu. Don't allow any situation of things. Lakini usiruhusu ile hali yoyote ile unayopitia. Your joy. Ikuibie furaha yako. Don't even allow joy breakers. There are joy breakers. Usiruhusu hata wale watu ambao watakuondolea furaha yako. There are those even you are joyful they will come and tell you something that will kill your spirit. Kuna wale unaweza kuwa na furaha unaweza kuja kuambia jambo ambalo lisinaondoa furaha yako. Kamba lina. That breaks your joy. Run away from sorrow. Kuna taarifa ambazo zinaondoa furaha yako. Shana na. Kuna mambo mbona unasoma na kuyasikia ambao yanaathiri furaha yako guide your joys jealously ilinde kwa nguvu sana furaha yako and your faith will keep on growing na imani yako itaendelea kukua it's a new day for you siku mpya kwako stand up on your feet simama kwa miguu yako no devil will steal your joy kuna shetani atakayeiba furaha yako and not hearing a louder amen siski amen no devil will steal your joy kuna shetani atakayeiba furaha yako your joy shall be intact furaha yako itadumu your hope will continue to be alive imani yako itaendelea kuwa hai just as abraham against hope believing hope kama vile ibrahim katika tumaini aliamini with his testimony your hope will return with testimonies I'm not hearing a louder amen but there must be a balance lakini lazima kuwe na uhiano. There must be a balance between faith and hope. Lazima kuwe na uhiano kati ya tumaini na imani. Don't always postpone your testimony in the name of hope. Sio kila siku uendelee kuahirisha shahuda zako kwa jina la tumaini. Faith is in the now. Imani ni ya sasa. Babu said now faith is. Anasema sasa basi imani ni. Delivers in the now. Imani inatimiza wakati huu. Always demand your now faith to deliver your now testimony. Inahitaji imani yako ya sasa ili kupokea ushuhuda wako wa sasa hivi. Don't say oh if God didn't do it this Sunday it will do another Sunday. Usiseme kama Mungu hajafanya sasa hivi atafanya Jumapili na yakuja. Do what is required. Fanya kile kinachohitajika. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. Because many people don't understand this. Kwa sababu watu wengi bado hawajaelewa and they will keep on saying i'm hoping if it's here before, before december i will get what i want kabla ya mwezi wa 12 nitapokea ninachokitaka but you can also get what you want today lakini pia unaweza kupata hicho unachokitaka leo that is the way faith work hivyo ndivyo imani inavyotenda kazi faith say god will do it now imani inasema mungu anatenda saa hii and hope will say if god didn't do it now it will do it tomorrow na tumaini linasema kama mungu hajafanya leo basi atafanya kesho the choice is yours uchaguzi ni wako faith hope is there Tumaini lipo to keep you going. Ili kukufanya uendelee kusonga mbele. Most of the time you say God will do it now you have done it but you didn't receive it and it isn't delivered to you. Wakati mwingine unasema Mungu ametenda sasa ni kweli ametenda lakini bado hujakipokea. But faith now help you. Lakini sasa hiyo imani inakusaidia. To keep on going. Tumaini linakusaidia kuendelea kusonga mbele. Somebody shout hallelujah. Baza hallelujah. Wave your hand Lord help me. Funga mikono yako sema Mungu nisaidie. To keep my hope alive. Kuendelea kulidumisha kufanya tumaini langu lile. And help me to keep my joy alive. Nisaidie kudumisha furaha yangu baada ya. Help me Jesus to keep my hope alive. Kudumisha tumaini langu. Help me to keep my hope alive. Nisaidie kudumisha tumaini in the name of Jesus Christ help me jina la Yesu to keep my hope alive kulidumisha tumaini langu i will not be hopeless in this life of my kosa tumaini help me also maisha. to keep my joy alive nisaidie kudumisha furaha nothing shall break my joy anymore kuna ambacho kitaondoa furaha yangu tena nothing shall break my joy anymore kuna ambacho kitaondoa furaha yangu tena nothing shall break my joy anymore kuna ambacho kitaondoa furaha yangu tena help me to take responsibility to build my faith nisaidie kuwajibika kujenga imani yangu imani yangu haitabaki kama ilivyo imani yangu haitabaki kama ilivyo my faith will not be made the same imani yangu haitabaki kama ilivyo will not be made the same imani yangu haitabaki kama ilivyo my faith will not be made the same imani yangu haitabaki kama ilivyo my faith will not be made the same imani yangu itabadilika my faith will not be made the same imani yangu itabadilika my faith will not be made the same imani yangu itabadilika in the name of jesus christ katika jina la yesu lando lobo shia la balaba remember the bible say kumbuka biblia inasema you chapter 1 verse 20 Yuda Building up your most holy faith. Jenge imani yenu iliyotakatifu. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Ukuomba katika Can you pray in the Holy Ghost to build your faith? Ukuomba katika roho sasa kujenga imani yako. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Nena kwa lugha sasa. Nena kwa lugha sasa. Nena kwa lugha sasa. Pray in the Holy Ghost you are building your faith. Nena kwa lugha unajenga imani yako. You are building your faith. Unajenga imani yako. Men chokiando katobo lando kitolia. Bali soli katobo lendo la brakato lobo. Abrando kato shakita la balia. La cote qui t'acaba bando lo boshia lava boali shonda boalando lo boshia e qui anda cote qui a tolobo e balia ba ba seke te que telia alia ba ba la boalia ba shoke telia ba ba ainda la bando la ba katolobo o be qui t'acata a bando que toshia la ba la ba la ba alia ba ba shorobo lia ba la ba shorobo lia ba la ba 
Ayalia Baba Shulobolia Bala 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 Abandolo Boshi Alabaki Atolo Bolia Alia Baba Shuloboshi Alabala Bala 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 Aliando Boshi Alabala Bala Bala Alia Baba Shulobolia Baba Baba Liando Apon de Cato Brelisha Cato Eki and Dobre Cato Baliaba and Dekia Tushiaka Bakaton de Kiando Breke Tushaba Ayulianda Cabodia Ekitalia Baba Liba Eliando Catobelia, Ebralia Solianda Caba, Aliando Breketo Shialaba, Ayala Baba Bala Bralaba, A Baba Lesa Catobelia, and Decato La Bralia Solobo, Ebrando Keteca Lia Baba, and Dobreketo Shialaba, Ayulianda La Bala Balaba, Ayalia Baba Solobolia Bala Balaba, Ayulando Lobo Shiala Bala Balaba, Ayala Brakia Tolobo, and Decia Tolobo Shiala Bala Balaba, Ayando Breketunda. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not hearing a louder amen. I pray again for you. Your faith will not remain the same level. The grace to do what is required. To build your faith, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your zeal for the world. To be united again in the name of Jesus Christ. Your zeal for prayers to be united again in the name of Jesus Christ. And every challenge that confronts you this morning. By the power of faith. You shall overcome. The Bible says, whatever that is born of God, overcome the world. And this is the victory that overcome the world. Even our faith. I decree again, you shall overcome. So shall it be. If you are here, you are not born again. You do faith, you are not even have it because we are saved by grace through faith. Hmm. For you to build your faith, you must first of all have it. If you are not born again, you are in a no, no faith level. Zero faith level. It has been born again that you are registered in this school of faith. And from there you start building it. You are here in this service today. Here at the center in all our centers. And everyone watching this service today. You are not born again. You are not saved. Wherever you are, put your hand on your chest. Let me pray for you. Pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I pray today come into my life. I know I am a sinner that needs salvation. Forgive me my sins. Wash me by your blood. I know you died for me. And on the third day you rose again. That I might be saved. Today I receive you. As my Lord and personal Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. I declare I'm now born again in Jesus' name. Somebody say a louder amen. amen. If you are here, you pray the prayer. You, you come forward, let me pray for you. You come forward everywhere you are, you pray the prayer. That, grace, that the great that saved you will be with you. Your faith will begin to move to another level today. And everything that accompanies salvation shall be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Straight forth your hand toward the communion, everyone, and partake of the communion. On the third day, he shall raise us all. Let the resurrection power be enacted in this communion today. The resurrection power, power let it be enacted. By this communion today, in the name of Jesus, Lord, on this third day, we bless the communion and we decree everything that your people desire, let it be done by the power of the blood and by your flesh. By this communion today, let our hope continue to be alive. By this communion today, everything that breaks our joy is is handled today by the blood. Lord, our joy will keep on growing. Our hope, Lord, will keep on moving from another level to another. And our faith will grow exceedingly. In the name of Jesus Christ, let everyone seek be healed. Let everyone with any kind of pain, let it be healed today. And every kind of concern, let it be turned to testimony. It is blessed. It is now 
the flesh and the blood of Jesus and every center where it is now it is blessed and let the power of God be manifested via this communion today in Jesus name please choir sing as we partake of the communion the blood of Jesus set me free from sin and sorrow, the blood of Jesus set me free. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus set me free. From sin and sorrow, the blood of Jesus set me free. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus set me free. From sin and sorrow, the blood of Jesus set me free. In the name of Jesus Christ, Apostle Paul say, I thank God always because your faith goeth exceedingly. And that is how your faith will grow. Your faith will grow exceedingly. In the name of Jesus Christ.